Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now please return to your bed. Good morning. You have been in suspension for Nine, 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 nine. Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? Are you gonna open the door? Ah! Ah! Oh, God. You look, um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you? Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you do if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. OK, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you, just, you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. OK, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. OK, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You're still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? But I love space. Uh, just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? All right, so now I hear that one. I hear that one. OK, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. OK. Almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes, but don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Whoa. There we go.
we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that, you got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. All right, off you go. Welcome, everyone, to Let's Play Portal 2. Go on, just uh, march on through that hole. Uh, would you stop interrupting me lately? This is a completely oh, blind run through. Uh, first time ever playing this. Just came out like. Well, I know, I know. Yeah. I have painted quite a grim picture of your chances, but if you simply stand here, we will both surely die. I wish you would stop interrupting me, Wheatley. That's the spirit. That'll work. Good luck. Thank you. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially a polyelliptic significance beyond wow, our control. Like. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Oh look, there's a shell. So yeah, this is a completely blind run through, never played this before, literally just came out a little while ago, so... Yay! You guys get to enjoy my first time. Also, I swear I jump a little higher than the first game. Oh, this game's beautiful. Let's go! Q and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. That's pretty cool. First we start up, or start in... Oh, uh, they really changed the physics in here. Uh, that's gonna be really awkward. Uh, would you open? Um... Please Thanks. note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. Huh, yeah, yeah. We start off on the original chamber, and then we get to test chamber one. And now, this is a really weird elevator. How has Aperture changed this much since we were here? I have no fucking clue. Whoa. Hello. Ah, damn if loading screens. Liquid running down your neck. Relax. Lie on your back and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Don't you mean ear canals? Stupid voice. Test chamber one. Wait, no. This is test. Oh wait, no, that's right. It starts on test chamber zero. Wow. Can somebody say changed? Dear fuck. What? Oh, what? Portal. Okay, broken glass. Well, wait, activate. What do you do? Oh, that's cool. What about this one? And then this one. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that cube. Hmm. I really like what they've done with this game. I don't like what they did with this, though. It's really awkward. Anyway, screw the rules, I have a cube. I cannot throw objects. Are, you've got to be shitting me. Wow, what did you do, Valve? What did you do to my game? I cannot throw cubes. God damn it, Valve. Why? Why would you do this? <sighs> Whatever. Let's just head on through test chamber one. Oh, hey, look. That's a uh, really strange looking camera you got running there. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Hmm. I'm not liking those cubes on top of my elevator. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to, or is incapable of listening to reason. Alright, I have no idea what that was about. 
But those cubes that were on my elevator seem to have disappeared. Hmm. Continuity error? I think so. Chirp, chirp. Ooh, hello. What's this? Chamber 2. No hazards. Wait a sec. What's that? What is that? Hey, there's no cake on here. I'm sad now. Hey, hey you made it. Hey, Wheatley. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Oh, oh fuck! Hello? Damn it, Wheatley. Portal gun. Uh. So, are you alive? That's important. Should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait. I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back. And assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right, brilliant. Go team. See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. Oh, look, arrows. What do they say? Follow us. Okay, I'll do that. I really, really like what they did with the art directions in this game. God damn it! No, nah, not art direction. Is it? I don't know. What the hell is this? Uh, I have no idea. I oh, have blood of some sort. Says, look, there's me. Well, shell. There's Gladys giving us cake. Cool. Um, it's kind of electrifying. Should I touch it? Okay, whatever. It's all worn out and dyed it. Whatever. Um. Oh, walkway. Alright, what the hell's that sound? Eh, uh, who knows. Let's just. Yeah, let's just continue onwards. Hmm. Got terminals. Whoa! Uh, am I supposed to be able to see the portals through the walls? I, I'm probably supposed to. I don't know why, but ever since Valve managed to do that with the carts on two, bleh, bleh, TF2, they've been throwing it everywhere. And I mean everywhere. Wait, no, not, not the cart for TF2, but... Yeah, the gas things in Left 4 Dead. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics. To share. To share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Alrighty then. Down we go! This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Aw, I was liking that. Damn you, game. Oh, hello, what's with this? Flippity, fuzzity, flippity, juice. I don't know. My portal gun is making weird things. Wow, straight on to test chamber four, are we? Well, okay, whatever. I love this lag I'm getting. <sighs> totally not taken from the first game or anything. Let's see, there should be. Yep, I was right. But no radio. Well. Oh, God. Burp. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any oh, deserved what? compliments. Um, that's new. Alright, so when did the panels come out and everything gets all, like, cool like it did in the trailer and all nice and new and sexy and sleek and... Ooh, what's this? Hmm. What? No, I don't want beans. I don't like beans. Yeah. Oh, well, that's cool. 
Anywho, let's go through here. Zoop. And down to the next test chamber we go! God damn it, let me enjoy my Pepsi. If the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Why would I want space debris in my test? But in my test. Oh, let's see, we have falling cubes, cubes on platforms, cubes hitting us in the face, and water. Oh boy, water hazards. Well, that's obviously why we gotta do. Woo! Alright, so... This button... What does this button do? Oh, it opens stair panels. Okay, what's this button do? It drops a cube. So then I want to do that to my cube, so I can get my cube. You know, I've always wondered, what's under these panels? Literally nothing. Wow, well, there goes my thoughts. Hmm. Then this opens this door, but I can't walk through the door, can I? No, I cannot. So, what does this do? Um... Those panels are broken. What does this do? Oh, uh, I see. You're tricky game. Wait, what? No, no, seriously, what the fuck just happened to my cube? It it disintegrated. I have no idea how or why, but it disintegrated. Whatever. I well made it through a test. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All aperture science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic low power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. Wow, that's a big old camera. I wonder if there's another camera shy achievement in this game, like in the first game. Ooh, what's this? Hmm. Jumpy doodle! Hey, look what I did. Wait, what the fuck's this? Aha! Alright, so then if I put that portal down there, which I can see through walls, which is really, really strange. Then I'll lag as soon as my poor cube hits. Makes perfect sense, doesn't it, viewers? Wait a second. Oh, that's right, the portal's... Ugh. I'm an idiot. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future. And the future starts with you. Unless, of course, you die. Then you're fucked. Okay, so let's see here. What do I need to do? Where do I need to go? I need to get over there, but how do I get over there? Hmm. Port up there. Jump to death. Woo! Okay, that answers one question. Can I break it? No, I cannot. So, this does what? Okay, that does that. But... How do I get over there now? Because I obviously can't put portals on this black wall, which is really weird. Oh, I put it over there. Okay, that makes sense. Then jump down here. Fly my ass up here. What's this say? Dropping cubes. Oh, hey, look. Up there. Alright, so... Put that up there. Move this over here. Da. Wait a second. Couldn't I just... Wow, these cubes are tiny as all hell. Let's try and get up here. Hmm. Aw, you can't you can't climb walls with the glitch anymore. They made it so you phase through cubes when you're holding them. That's not nice. I enjoyed that glitch. It helped me complete a lot of challenges really quickly. But um And then cube goes here. 
And then I have to go through it again. God damn it. Woo! God damn it, I didn't even make it that time. Last try. Whee! There we go. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. Alright, so this is where I'm going to call it an episode. Uh, tune in for part two, where I journey farther into the new age aperture science testing laboratories, or laboratories, however you want to pronounce it. So until then, viewers, enjoy gaming.